Rachel, this is Mae Renfro here with you and hey hey welcome yeah to my channel to the video and I'm glad you're here um, you keep following along and you keep coming back to my uh, videos and stuff and that you um, find them interesting and I hope you've been blessed and encouraged and and I just keep having more great content coming up and everything so um, you know this video is gonna be uh, just kind of short and sweet when I get going I end up I really going sometimes so we'll see how long it is but I just want to kind of keep it short and um, just share some things uh, so I'm gonna be talking about um, some upcoming uh, videos I'm gonna be doing and the um, kind of the the style of these videos and how they're just gonna be a little bit different and the topic of these and then some big news we got some big news but you can't guess what it is <laughs> I won't keep you in suspense. I'll get right on to the big news. A new little one is on the way. Yeah, I thought it was time. We'll just go ahead and tell. Um, I'm about th um, just over three months. I just had my first um, real appointment um, with a doctor, and I'm at um, just over 13 weeks. So yeah, we're right getting along and with it. I was, you know, I've almost every time, I think more this time, I was like, what if it would be twins? What if, I actually had someone pray, you know, from real my stomach and they used the twin word. I'm like, oh no, surely not. <laughs> well, well, we would, you know, I would get on board, all right? But Jess was in suspense with this point and I was like, you know, can you just let me know, you know, um, rule out that I'm not having twins, so I don't have to worry about that. And so they actually did, they did a sonogram right then. I didn't know if they would. I just thought, well, we'll be just checking for heartbeat, maybe measuring and seeing how far we can kind of rule it out that way. But she did sonogram, it's one. So yeah, um, but yeah, everything um, looks good, going good. I never really get sick, so um, I, uh, it's all going good. And so it took me by surprise. I think number 10, um, we've just been living it in the Lord's hands. That's how we've been doing for the last several years. And and so I knew, you know, there could be a possibility of another another one, but I kind of felt we were done. Our youngest will be three in April. And so since she, you know, I thought maybe she is the youngest, so I'm just kind of enjoying hers a little one. We're still, we're still nursing and I still am actually, which now I've got to stop right away. Um, but <laughs> she's so, you know, so attached to me and that, and I've enjoyed that with her and, um, I thought, she was, I thought she was my last. And I kind of got to the point, you know, after years of my oldest getting to be 22 by the time his little sibling is born, actually. Due date is July uh, 28th, and his birthday is July 22nd. So he'll just be uh, 25th, sorry. He'll be just turning 22. He has a new sibling. Um, so for the last, you know, almost 22 years, I've had uh, little ones either yeah, have been pregnant or nursing or in carrying car seats or just, you know, all this little, and I thought maybe we were getting to get out of that season and, you know, but, but I, we were leaving in God's hands and so here we are. So it took me a while to get on board. I mean, to get excited actually. And, and that is truth. I'm being honest here. And so I still am. I know when I said big news, yay, but yeah, I'm kind of just gotta, you know, really gotta act like it right now. And I know, you know, um, God's will be done and um, babies are blessing the ones are blessing and, you know they're gifts from God um, there's no doubt about it and um, yeah God's got you know a plan and and uh, he must see that I'm a mother for this one <laughs> for to add to our family and the kids are super super excited and so it's all good I, you know I'm I'm um, I'm all I'm full, full of energy and um, yeah, so new little one to the mix, to the family, and I'm um, just going to pour into them like I pour into all the rest with um, love and the word of God and raise them, uh, raising our children to be um, drawing lights and uh, for God. And so, <clears throat> yeah, we, we got new little one and, um, and so, yeah, like I said, they're just super exciting. The children are just super excited. Um, and always, you know, girls want a girl, the boys want a boy, but we have never found out what ours is going to be. And I think for this one, like, why would we change it at this point? So, um, it's going to be suspense, uh, to, uh, till the end, until it's born. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it on the news. And so that does change things for us, especially so, I mean, 
you may I made plants you know the summer I thought well later in the summer we would probably be going back up to Canada for a while and now I'm like oh, I wasn't born in July how is that gonna kind of work because I get you know go up there and get back and get you know so now I think we're gonna maybe hopefully get to go back up to Canada for a while after the baby's born I hope before then it gets too cold up there so I'm gonna see how that works it's changed things a bit but um, yeah God's will be done Okay, on to um, what I'm going to be uh, sharing, doing for videos in the very near future. So my next one, I'm going to be talking about uh, Christian music and why, why I listen to Christian music and how it's really impacted my life and really been a part, you know, of my life and who I am and just what goes on in our home is that Christian music is just so important and so vital. And I'm, I'm going to share, I have about between, well, five to seven reasons I've written down. I've got seven written down. But then I'm like, well, some of these kind of go together. So when I start giving them, I'll see how that goes. But that's the title of the video. It's going to be either whatever I end up with. If I end up with five, I'll have five reasons to listen to Christian music. Um, and, and yeah, I'm going to be sharing my reasons and why I think it's so important and what the music has done to me and certain, especially certain songs have just really spoke to me and helped me and encouraged me and got me through the difficult um, seasons, especially after losing our son. It's just really what kept me going. I mean, Jesus kept me going, but it was through, you know, him, you know, through that music and that song and, um, and just being in worship with him. So that's what that one's going to be about. And then I'm going to do one on uh, reasons to memorize scripture. I haven't really got a number, but maybe it'll be like six reasons to memorize scripture and the benefits with that and, and a lot to what goes with that. And five reasons to have bedtime devotions with your children. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm really excited because I really, um, I just love the devotion time I'm doing with the children. So we have Bible uh, reading time and I'll talk about that too. Bible reading time all together as a family. We're just reading through. Um, we'll just, wherever we are, we're in Acts. We'll read that chapter. And we'll talk about a little bit, hopefully. And, you know, sometimes they're ready to just scoot off. And then after that, then after I um, use your snack, get them in their bedrooms. Then I do a girl's devotion and then a boy's devotion. It's just super good time. And I'm going to share... The reasons you will want to have bedtime devotions with your children super good super powerful and i'll maybe share some of the book and resources that we use okay and then five reasons to have daily family bible time okay well i just mentioned i'd probably work that in with that one we'll see you may have a total separate video too that would probably might be better six reasons to homeschool and maybe more I haven't really thought. I've just, oh, I'm just throwing a number of six reasons to homeschool. But um, yeah, homeschooling is just, I, you know, for me, it was the only way I already knew that that's what I was going to do before I ever had children. Was I was homeschooled. And I'm like, yeah, this is the only way uh, to go for me. And I know not everyone can homeschool uh, for sure. But I'm going to share the reasons and the benefits that I feel it's been good for us and, and just why I think it's so important because we're building lives for the Lord and what can happen when you're in school system. You want to fit in with those that are around you naturally. You know, we kind of want to fit in. You don't want to, you know, um, be the odd one out or, you know, look strange. Yeah, you want, and, um, but we can only fit in so much and, um, and just really make it hard for children to hold on to those values. You're teaching them values at home, but... Uh, when they're out there in the um, public school system, it can just be a lot harder. Um, and I know the more we pour in at home, probably that will help that in that area. But um, yeah, I'm just going to talk about my reasons why I homeschool and want to encourage others to do the same. But it is hard. So I'll get into that when I get it. Homeschooling is very, very hard. Um, but I guess when it's all said and done, it is worth it. Not I guess, but I know. So. Um, Okay, well, uh, I guess that's wrapped it up for this one. I've shared our big news, and you, you all know what to look for in more videos. And please, so share this with others that you would know that could benefit from these. And um, encourage them, yeah, to come on over to my channel and see what all I share here and what all I'm into. Um, you can check out my website and blog. I've got my new book there that you can, um, there's a link to where you can purchase my new book, Holding On To Hope on my uh, website and blog and it talks about um, speaking that I wanted to uh, do, the opportunities. I um, really wanted to be able to do that and share that hope that I have in a lot of various things. I have a lot that I could really share thing at women's groups or um, a women's conference or something. So uh, just check that out. And, um, and until next time, take care and I want to see you back here and sh yeah, share this with your friends uh, so we can get this known a little more. Um, 
and maybe we can get some more subscribers and um, so they can just hear what, what I share and um, to uh, lift others, encourage others in their walk with God. Okay, take care.